polynomial inequalities. Here is a question from the test paper. It says explain why the following strategy fails and then solve the inequality correctly. The inequality is x plus 3 times minus x minus 5 is less than x plus 3 times x plus 4. Now to solve this inequality the very first step is divide both sides by x plus 3 and when you do that you get minus so they cancel out right so this this cancels out and you get minus x minus 5 is less than x plus 4 and which can be solved as shown here that is you add 5 both sides right so in this stage you are adding 5 you do plus 5 both sides and then you get minus and then you bring out and you do minus x both sides correct so you get this step which is minus 2x is less than 9 or uh, then you divide in this stage by minus 2 when you divide by minus 2 then you change your sign and then you divide by minus 2 and get this as your solution so that is a part of solution shown now what is the mistake here that is what you need to point out so go through it carefully and then look into my solution now how what should I suggest to you here now the thing is like this the mistake is in the very very first step cancelling out x plus 3 now this you could not have done even in solving equations if you cancel it out then you are cancelling out one of the solutions right x minus 3 could have been a part of solution which you cancelled out so this is a wrong step even for uh, doing equations now in inequalities there are two reasons for this step to be wrong reason number one is that you know if x is x plus 3 is negative then when you divide by negative number you have to interchange the sign also so you are not very sure whether the sign should be changed or not and also imagine if x is minus 3 then you are dividing by 0 which is kind of impossible right so there are so many mistakes being committed when you do this kind of thing in inequalities so we should really avoid this step and this this is basically a wrong step right so we should not be doing this at all so the idea is whenever you solve for inequalities what we try to do is we try to bring them all together to one side and then solve for inequalities so to solve this inequality what we will do is we'll do x plus 3 times minus x minus 5 and we'll bring it to the left side the whole expression which is x plus 3 times x plus 4 less than 0 it's a good idea to always keep 0 on one side and then solve for inequalities now you can take x plus 3 common right so it is x plus 3 common and you get here minus x minus 5 and minus of this part which is x plus 4 less than 0 now that gives us x plus 3 times minus x minus x is minus 2x and minus 5 and minus 4 is minus 9 which is less than 0 so you do get one part which is similar to what was here right the other part which you missed out since you cancelled did you note that part so now we have x plus 3 and this one is let's take minus outside so if I take minus in fact let me divide by minus both sides in that case I get 2x plus 9 and the sign changes so whenever you multiply or divide by a negative number in that case the inequality sign changes along with all of the signs like here this was the correct step when you divide by minus 2 it becomes minus 9 over 2 and the sign changes so this is a correct step here at times in question papers there will be a mistake here also so be careful at this stage now we can always solve for it so you can solve algebraically or graphically right in case of multiple choice questions or when you want to look for a quick answer graphical solutions are better so we're looking for zeros zeros at x equals 2 so this gives us a zero let's look into this equation once again so it is x plus 3 times 2x plus 9 greater than 0 it has got two zeros one is at x equals 2 minus 3 
the other one is at x equals to minus 9 by 2 which is I can write minus 4.5 correct so these are my two zeros and it also represents a parabola degree 2 right so our graph is going to be kind of like this correct where the zeros are at which point minus 3 and minus 4.5 so this is your minus 3 and then here we have minus 4.5 when is it greater than when is it greater than 0 or positive so the answer is you can see from the graph and write down from minus infinity to minus 4.5 right and it is also greater than from minus 3 to positive infinity so that is your answer set you can also make table of values and then figure out in which interval so we, the zeros basically divide the whole plane into three intervals right so that is this alternate way of doing it you can take test points here a good test point is zero in this side and a test point like minus four and a test point like minus five plug in these values to check when do you get positive so if I put zero here you do get positive three times nine twenty seven which is greater than zero if I put minus five here minus five will give me negative on this side minus five will give me negative here when you multiply two negatives you do get positive and when you plug in minus four you get a negative number in this side but a positive number here a negative positive will give you a negative answer as you can see so we get our solution which is that the x in this case should be between minus infinity to minus 4.5 or between minus 3 to infinity so that is how you're going to solve these kinds of inequalities so remember this is a type of communication question which you expect in your test paper you have to give reason for each and every step you do thank you and all the best